Local students, we are expected to integrate secant squared x over secant x plus 2 tan x raised to the power of 9 over 2. And foremost, I wish to make the following substitution. Let secant x positive tan x be equal to some t. You differentiate secant x, you get secant x tan x. You differentiate tan x, you get secant squared x. Multiply to the differential operator dx. This is equal to dt. Now take this and you substitute it here. So this is equal to integral. Now clearly you can see that we need to have uh, secant x tan x, but we only have secant squared x. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to create what I do not have. I'm going to add uh, secant x tan x, and then I'm going to take away secant x tan x. Okay. Now this looks all right, right? I can I can very well make the substitution for this, but how would I counter this? This would again give me a situation. So what I wish to do is, uh, for the time being, I'm going to add uh, secant squared x. Now, if I were to add secant squared x, now watch here. Secant x tan x and negative secant x tan x, they get cancelled. I have a secant squared x and I have a secant squared x. They get added together to give me two times secant squared x. But I got only one secant squared x. So I will actually balance that by placing a 2 there. So no harm done here. So this is what we have got. So this is divided by secant x positive tan x raised to the power of 9 over 2. Now let me split this. This is going to be equal to 1 over 2. That's constant. Place the integral sign. Now I'm going to write this as secant squared x positive secant x tan x multiplied with the dx divided by the denominator secant x positive tan x raised to the power of 9 over 2. Now this is going to be positive secant squared x negative secant x tan x over secant x positive tan x raised to the power of 9 over 2. This has got the differential operator dx. Now this is easily integrable. Right? All I need to do is make the substitution. This is going to be t here. This is going to be dt here. But what are we going to do with this? So this is going to be a challenge. So this as a parenthesis there. Now what we should do is I would like to consider this first. Let's consider integral secant squared x negative secant x tan x divided by secant x plus tan x raised to the power of 9 over 2. Of course you got the differential operator dx there. Now I am going to rewrite this by taking secant x out. So this is going to give me secant x negative tan x divided by secant x positive tan x raised to the power of 9 over 2 multiplied with dx. So let me have the dx over here. Now you will understand why did I do that. Now I have to get rid of the secant x negative tan x. Now how is it possible just to multiply by secant x positive tan x. Now you might be wondering why am I doing that. I have a trigonometric identity which states that secant squared x negative tan squared x is equal to 1. So I am trying to create a 1 there. But that would leave the denominator off balance because we have to balance the denominator with multiplying secant x positive tan x. So now I got a secant x positive tan x, I got a secant x positive tan x, they both get balanced off. So no harm done. Now just product multiply these two things. So this is going to give me integral secant x times secant squared x negative tan squared x. Don't do anything as of now. Just uh, have these things as it is. Now just secant x positive tan x, secant x positive tan x, these two can be actually product multiplied, giving me secant x positive tan x. So 9 over 2 and you got the secant x positive tan x raised to the power of 1. That's going to give me 11 over 2. Okay, fair enough. I got a dx there. So just place this dx. Now if you were to remember the previous step, this has got a secant squared x positive secant x tan x. So if I were to use the substitution that I performed here, there should be a secant x positive tan x. Okay? Now, you might be... Now, this is actually... Okay, I have taken secant x out. I am getting secant x negative tan x. Okay, fair enough. Now, the point I wish to bring to your attention is that this is gone, but yet I have a secant squared x positive secant x tan x. If I were to distribute secant x over here, you will get secant squared x positive secant x tan x. So that makes integration easy. But 
I need to balance this again. So I'm going to multiply the denominator with secant x positive tan x. So having got that, let me move on. So this is equal to secant squared x negative tan squared x is going to be equal to 1. Get rid of that. So now all that remains is secant x of secant x positive tan x, the differential of dx divided by secant x. Now this is going to be 11 over 2 plus 1. That's going to be 13 over 2. So third, uh, tan x raised to the power of 13 over 2. Now this has to be substituted over here. So let me take this as uh, 2. So therefore 2 can be rewritten as in, in place of this you make the substitution of this. So this is going to be 1 over 2 remains as it is integral. Now you can uh, I think you can directly substitute right. In place of uh, secant squared x positive uh, secant x tan x, I'm going to substitute this one. This is going to be dt, right? And in place of secant x positive tan x, it's going to be t. So that is going to be dt divided by t raised to the power of 9 over 2 and positive. So this has to be present there, right? So the substitution in this case is going to be secant squared x positive secant x tan x that is going to give me dt divided by t raised to the power of 13 over 2. Now if you were to integrate this, this is equal to 1 over 2. This is uh, integral of t raised to the power of negative 9 over 2 dt positive t raised to the power of negative 13 over 2 and uh, dt there. This is going to be 1 over 2. Integrate this, you get t raised to the power of negative 9 over 2 positive 1 divided by negative 9 over 2 positive 1 positive positive 1, 13 over 2, positive 1. This is equal to 1 over 2 times. So this is going to give me t negative 7 over 2 divided by negative 7 over 2. And this is 13. You take away 2. This is negative 11 over 2, negative 11 over 2. This is equal to, you can just... Uh, Read like this as uh, you flip it, you get 2 over 7 with the negative sign. You bring it down, you get 1 over t raised to the power of 7 over 2. You flip it, you get negative 2 over 11 and you have 1 over t raised to the power of 11 over 2. Now this can be rewritten as, now I can take 2 out. If I were to take 2 out, the 2 that you see here, they get cancelled out. So all I have is the parenthesis with a negative sign. I can very well take that negative sign out. So that's going to give me 1 over 7. Now this is square root, right? So I can just place square root of t raised to the power of 7. And negative sign is already taken out. 1 over 11. And this is square root. So it's going to be root of t raised to the power of 11. Okay. But what is t? t is secant x positive tan x. Make the substitution. So it's going to be negative 1 over 7 times square root of secant x positive tan x raised to the power of 7. And then you got a positive sign 1 over 11, 11 times square root of secant x positive tan x raised to the power of 11. Right, probably I'll just place it like this because this both the quality secant x positive tan x is raised to the power of 11 and that is followed by the addition of the arbitrary constant c. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Students, thank you.